Well, uh, here we are again, a year later. It's uh, April 25th, and uh, we're anticipating the lychee season. Uh, lychee fruit will probably be ready in about uh, another uh, month, uh, month or so. Uh, what you're looking at here is a Mauritius tree, and as you can see, the fruits have, uh, have set. The fruits set uh, between the middle of January to the middle of February. Uh, we don't have a real heavy fruit set on, on this particular tree, but uh, uh, typically uh, the Mauritius fruits and the sweetheart fruits are ripe uh, from the middle of uh, May to the beginning of June. And then the Brewster fruits come available uh, early to mid-June and they're uh, uh, ripening and available to probably the first uh, the July 4th weekend and then after that perhaps we'll have some emperor fruit uh, maybe not we're waiting to see um, and you can see here let me pull this down so we can get a close-up of, uh, of the fruit see, they've, uh, they've, they've sized up pretty well as you can see I didn't mean to do that, but anyway, um, here uh, the, the panicle isn't real, really dense, but uh, uh, there's uh, enough fruit, and the fruit look pretty, pretty good. Uh, they're sizing up really nicely. They'll size up very rapidly as soon as the rainy season begins. Of course, we have irrigation in this grove, so. Uh, See that? These, uh, you don't want to eat non-ripe lychee fruit, although you know they don't taste very good. But uh, the, uh, this variety, the Mauritius variety, is a, is a very pleasant-tasting fruit. A lot of these have the rose uh, scent to them. Um, however, uh, the sweethearts—we uh, don't have that many sweethearts in this grove, but in the other groves, the sweethearts uh, flowered fairly well this this winter. So. I'm, uh, I'm anticipating a, a, a decent harvest of the sweethearts. So uh, that's kind of where we stand. We'll do another review of this situation here uh, sometime towards the middle of May, and uh, we'll give you the update uh, then. So that's the, uh, that's the season for lychees so far.